All right, so previously we have exported the student, student records or student reports and the teachers um, records um, using the data export wizard from Salesforce. And now we are going to do some exporting using the data loader. So let's go right on ahead. I'm going to open my data loader application. So how do you get the data loader application? How do you log in? Please um, watch my data import video that I have posted as well. There I have shown you on how you can get the data loader application from Salesforce for free and to also log in and reset your password so you can log in here. So for now, let's go right on ahead to export. Okay, I'm already logged in. So now I want to log, uh, I want to export my student, my student object, all the student records, okay, using data loader. So I'm gonna choose where it is going to be saved on my computer. So I'm gonna hit browse. And I'm gonna just type here, student export. Let's just do the grade six one, right? So let me show you on how you can filter records from data loader. So this is um, all the fields that you can export with your data. So for example, we are a school and the Department of Education wants um, all schools within the country to submit their grade six students. How many grade six students you have and, and so on and so forth, okay? so. We don't want to export everything with the data export wizard that we did before. We can choose which field. But now here we can. Um, I want to give their name. I want to give the birth date. And of course, the grade is grade six. The teachers, well, we don't need them for now, right? So how do we filter it here? Create the where clauses to your query below. So we want to say the field is the grade, right? The grade here, grade operation is equals. So grade equals six, of course. Oops, yeah, six there, right? And you have to click this button. Don't forget, add condition. So select name, the birth date, we want that. The grade from student where grade C equals six and hit finish do you want to proceed of course yes there we are pretty much done and i'm going to show you how it's gonna look like there if i go view zoom it for you 150 percent there we have the student name the birth date and the grade just the grade six ones right so that makes sense so another example, we want to back up our data. So not just um, export a particular um, fields that we want to give to another organization, but we actually want to back up the whole, the whole data for the student object. So let's do export again. Same thing, student. I'm going to browse and change this. Backup. Okay, backup, comma, separated value, CSV, all right, save, and hit next. Now I want to select all fields so I can import it back just in case somebody accidentally delete all the student records or something. So we have a backup. I just select all fields, no filters, just everything, and hit finish. There, we have 1,103 students. Let's see how it's gonna look like. This one. There. So we have all the IDs, the is deleted or not, the name of the students, when the record was created, who created it, the all the date stamps there, and the birth date, of course, and the grade and the teacher, if it has been 
field or chosen which is this is just a demo data so we don't have we haven't assigned the teachers or uh, for all the students so there you have it this is how you can export using the data loader i mean i'm just going to close that so the power of data loader is you can choose pick and choose what you want to filter either you want to export it to other organizations that needs your data or you can also export it for backup purposes for your own backup that's all for data export thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next trailhead course Thank you.